you know, sometimes people do things uh, by accident and find out they're really good at it. Like, somebody finds out that they're really good at, like, masonry, you know, because they accidentally did some sometime, and you're like, oh, this is something I'm really good at and I enjoy. How do you find out you're really good at hunting the undead? You don't just know. I imagine the uh, progression to stumbling into being an undead hunter is uh, uh, horrifying. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another episode of Blastercated Painting. Today we are going to be painting Hex Bane's Hunters by Games Workshop. We are painting monsters all month for Monster Month. Um, that's something we do every October on the channel. Uh, but we do need some monster hunters too, don't we? Can't just all be monsters. It's got to be some hunters too. Anyway, these are super cool miniatures. We're going to do a fun, easy paint job that anyone can do. Let's do it. We're going to take some Dusk Red and some Blood Angels Red. We're going to mix that together to make a really uh, brownish red. So we just want to add more red to it, basically. This is going to go on a bunch of the leather bits on these miniatures. So they all have different outfits. So for this guy, it's going to go on his pants and his gloves and his belts and his pa uh, pouches. We're going to put it on the belts of the other characters as well. So it's more about the colors here. We're going to try and make them all sort of match a little bit. Like for this one, it's going to go all over her uh, shirt. This is not really a shirt. That's pretty heavy duty. Tunic? Jerkin? I don't know. Something like that. We're going to take some satchel brown and we're going to put this on anything we want. That brownish color. So for this guy, it's going all over his hat and his coat. Um, some of them it's going on their pants. So we just kind of want to look at our reference material and find out what colors are going where. Just a side note, I probably uh, should have chosen a different brown. This satchel brown is not the best. It really is quite patchy and it doesn't do the contrast thing as well. Probably should have used like hardened leather. Um, something like that because I will have to fix this later. Now we're going to take some camo cloak. Uh, again, we're going to check our reference material. This guy's got a bit of a green undershirt that he's wearing. So this is going to go all over there. Also, where did this guy come from? He's massive. Has he got a little ogre blood in him? Is that a thing that happens? Half ogres? Is that a thing? Somebody let me know in the comments below if uh, Age of Sigmar has half ogres. I think 40k does. I don't know anymore. I can't keep track of this. Now we're going to take some sand golem here, and this is going to go all over uh, this one's gloves and um, her boots. So, again, we're checking our reference materials, and we're just picking those colors out one by one. And his boots as well. I'm going to take some dwarf skin and some express medium. And yep, you guessed it. This is going all over the skin. So we want to make sure this doesn't pool too much, but we want it to obviously go into the recesses like it's supposed to. This um, turned out really good on the big guy. I'm going to take some broad sword silver, and this is going all over their silver bits. Guns, axes, swords, weapons, armor, every bit that's supposed to be silver, it's going on there. Now we're going to take some snake bite leather and we're going to put this all over the stakes. So basically anything that we want wood on these characters, this is going on there. Now we're going to take some beastie brown and this is going to go just as a highlight up on all of the satchel brown we did because we do have to try and fix that satchel brown. I just didn't like how it turned out. It looked very uh, stained and not so much speed painted. So this is going to be our first step to fixing this and we're going to make it really look like worn, cracking aged leather. Now we're going to take some copper brown and some glaze medium. We're going to turn this into a very thin 
glaze and this is going all over the highlighted brown that we just did on every single miniature if we have put that brown on we're putting this on there I'm also going to throw this on some of the metallic areas that they have to age it. And we're going to take some Naz Drag yellow here, and this is going all over her hair. And we're going to take some Runic Gray, and this is going to go all over her pants. And we're going to take some Blood Angels Red, and any sort of like trim or extra details like his hat band, we're just going to throw that on there. Now we're gonna take some tan and basically we're gonna use this as a dry brush pretty much across the entire miniature. So definitely on the brown that we did and definitely on the dusk red and blood angels red mix. Now we're gonna take some brownish decay and some occultist cloak and this is going on these awesome little dog miniatures here. So the brownish decay is gonna go over 90% of the miniature and the occultist cloak is just going to go up near his snout. So we're going to put that on him while it's still wet. We'll put on our occultist cloak and we'll kind of blend those in together. And for variation, we're going to take occultist cloak and Nasdrag yellow. We're going to do the same thing with this dog. Only instead of that color, we're going to use the Nasdrag yellow. And we just want to blend those in. Now we're gonna take some chain mail silver here and any of the little belt buckles, uh, buttons on their leather bits here. We're just gonna highlight all those spots up. We're gonna take some volcanic yellow and we're gonna use this on his flame, on his torch here. So we're just gonna get a even coat of this. And we're going to take some titanium white ink. We're going to wet that yellow and then put the ink on and it should sink into the recesses here. And then we can kind of use a dry brush to soak some of it off and move it around. And we're going to take some Griff Charger Gray and this is going to go all over the bases. Now we're gonna take some yellow here and we're gonna use this as a dry brush up on that torch. So we don't wanna do a heavy dry brush, we still want that white to be in the recesses. Then we're gonna take some orange fire and we're gonna do a dry brush of that, mostly near the tips of the fire and towards the end. Now we're gonna take some of that contrast shader, which is a very pale green, a bit of brown and then a bunch of acrylic medium and water and this is what we're using to shade down anything that we've used contrast or speed baits on just to kind of tie it all together so this is going all over the miniatures we don't want it to pull too much except for in the recesses we can even put this all over the base this is a very subtle subtle wash we'll do a black rim around the bases and these guys are done and here they are all finished up they turned out really cool. We didn't have to do too much work on them. Um, really dirty, grimy. They're living out in the woods. They're living through towns. Um, these dogs are just fun. It's fun that they're dog miniatures for some reason. This guy actually turned out really good. I'm really happy with how his skin tones worked. Just a lot of fun to paint these. I, I really enjoyed the whole process. Hopefully guns work on ghosts. And like I said, even though it's Monster Month, it is fun to paint something uh, for the monsters to have to defend themselves from. These are super cool miniatures. Uh, Games Workshop's Underworld miniatures are actually, I think, some of the best that they do. What do you guys think? Have you got a favorite monster hunter? Are you a Van Helsing fan? <laughs> like the Hugh Jackman movie? Which was terrible. Let's agree. It's a really bad movie. Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. All of the YouTube stuff. You guys have a great day. I think if I was a part of a uh, team of monster hunters, I would be the person who waits at home and cooks for them. Because <laughs> there's no way. Or like maybe I'd do their laundry.
Like, do they have a clubhouse? I would be the maid. I'd be the the maid of. I'm not the butler because the butler sounds like he's in charge, and I'm definitely not in charge. I'd just be a cook, or a I don't know, bookkeeper, <laughs> something like that. Army Painter has camo cloak and occultist cloak. Well, what if you're an occultist who wants to wear camouflage? Where's your color? You don't have one. Camouflage occultists are not represented enough in uh, miniature war paints. <laughs>